Hey gang, well the day finally came. Power had finally made it in. I gave it a bath. Look how nice a shape this thing's in. It cut very little. And uh, I think I've got a couple of strip gears. A little difficult to see, but right down in there. We'll see when we get her apart. But there's the power head. Oops, duh. Your hand right over the lens, Goofy. This is your oiler adjuster. This is high or low on the oil. Obviously, that's where it attaches to the pole. I've already run it through the parts washer, so she's all, all cleaned up there. But uh, take a look at this tank. Clear plastic. You can see right down in there. Looks real nice. So, I'm going to tear it apart, just like we did the motor, and see uh, what we can do. It's really, and it's super lightweight, too. There's that. I'll show you guys the uh, pole here real quick. The pole's pretty nice, too. There we go. Yeah, and yes, I'm in the office again. God, I love being a bachelor. Bearings in real good shape, good and quiet. Now this is the end that goes into the power head and the other end goes into the saw attachment. And it's got a centering bushing inside. I pulled it apart, cleaned it up. This area, the center area and the tail area had a little bit of surface rust on them. Just cleaned those up and then oiled them down real good. But We'll uh, tear into this little feller. As soon as I get the bar and chain off, I should be able to get uh, the business into the viewfinder, and then we'll possibly take it apart together. We'll see. Depends on. Uh, see, I'm flying blind. Manual that I got is incorrect for this one, so. Uh, but we'll see. Anyway, stay tuned. Okay, gang. I just took two bolts out. Was all I did and uh, it took the bar off and it took the uh, oil pump and oil tank reservoir out at the same time. This is just a spacer block that I've got here. It sits right down in there for when you put the bar on. A uh, little disheartening and I don't know how this is going to progress. Hopefully um, there's not so much damage that it can't be remedied but uh, be easier to show you here on the shaft. Take a look. Let me go ahead and get the flashlight. Went and took my good light out to the shop and used it over top of my parts washer. So, gotta use flashlights out here or in here in, in the uh, office. I don't know if you guys can see that. The bitter end there, this piece right here. The splines on it are really chewed up, um, pretty badly chewed up, and then uh, let's see here. I'll get that cover off so you can see better, but you can see the obstruction in the hole. The that's the other gear that operates the pump. Works kind of like a uh, old steam engine. It's got the this kind of motion, and yeah. Hopefully that stuff is not so chewed up that uh, I can't clean those splines up a little bit, get them to mesh together a little better, and be right with the world. Um, the bevel gears that are in here, the right angle gears, they're they're fine. They're, they're in real good shape, nice and quiet, so I don't have to worry about those so much. And you see I dropped newspaper down on the work table. Once I got this cover off, of course, there's a bunch in there, so this will go out to the parts washer. I'll finish cleaning it up, but let me go ahead and pop these screws out, and we'll uh, see what we've got down up underneath there. We can go ahead and do that on camera real quick, I guess. Machine screws going into plastic. 
about that? Well, this is kind of what's called FRN, fiberglass reinforced nylon, is what uh, this case here is. So. There we go. All right, two short screws and a long screw. Pop this cover out of here. See what we've got up under there. Not too much in the way of which oh, there's brass inserts. That's why it's machine screws. All right, works for me. Um, let's get a little better look, and we'll get zoomed in here. see here, well I guess it's on a cam, and I see an o-ring that's off, huh, it's o-ring driven, how about that, so the o-ring just popped off, well that's awesome, so that tells me it's probably going to work alright, I don't know if you guys see, see the o-ring down, hang on, I'll poke at it, Look, right here. See that? That O-ring goes into the groove. This is an FRN piece. So all that, awesome. Yeah, I think we're going to be just fine. Just need to pop that O-ring back on there. Uh, I'll take this out and clean everything out on it before I get it completely tore apart and reassembled. This is what the oil comes out of. It got a hole right there. And that's the oiler hole. Zoom out just a little bit. There. Okay. This piece, what the oil comes out of, is a little oil hole right there. And then the oil line traipses on around, comes over here and into the tank. Nice, clean, clear tank. Just turn that a quarter turn, lift it out. See, we've got a ball chain on it. That's nice. I like that. It's a nice design. There's another screw down there to hold the tank in. I'll pop that one out as well so that I can clean the entire thing. And uh, I think we might be okay. The pump itself, let me turn this around. The pump itself is, I'm going to point at it, i got a flashlight in my mouth when I do this, but Right there is the pump. So we'll uh, finish taking it apart, clean it all up, get that O-ring, and if that O-ring is is uh, not secure enough on there to stay in place, we'll put a new one on there. I like that design. So maybe the uh, torn up spots on this are jumbled up and tore up like that just so that it'll grip better because it certainly has plenty of grip there awesome so just an o-ring popped off of there I can handle that no problem okay we'll uh, revisit this when I get done cleaning everything up and uh, then really all I've got to do is sharpen the chain, the bar itself, I mean the bar itself is in as close to new condition as it can be in, I mean you guys can see, there's almost no paint at all off of the thing, so power printer part number yep awesome yeah I'm jazzed about that really really glad it's just an o-ring that slipped out of place easy peasy alright well my buddy Tim that sent this to me was uh, wanting to know what uh, what's going on with it when I got it and got it tore apart I think he'll be happy to learn that it is just an o-ring that the uh, what appeared to be a stripped gear was not 
a stripped gear, but just a um, o-ring that popped off and nice easy fix nice easy fix took me longer to get through the motor I, I figured it would take longer to get through the motor but I was really hoping that I wouldn't have to order parts for this and it looks like I'm not going to have to order parts for this so I'll take that I'll take that every single day of the week I'm going to carefully lift this tank and pump assembly out get the line I need to see what alright we're not going to tear that all apart because we've got springs and everything else down in there so I'm going to set that right back down where it was so that I don't screw anything up um, but we'll get everything cleaned up revisit this once everything's clean and get her put back together start her up make sure she's oiling stay tuned